So I want to show you one of the spreads that I use for relationship readings. For some reason, I like to use four card spreads. They just kind of land easy for me. So I like to think about how someone's thinking, speaking, feeling, and just underneath, what do they want most? And if we start with the thinking, you can see we've got air, water, earth, and as we come down over here, we got fire. So interestingly enough, on just these, these cards that I pulled, uh, I've got all four elements. And I think that's an interesting, ex I think that's just an incredible experience when you've got all four elements in a reading about a uh, person and their alignment within a relationship. If you've got all four elements, Hopefully there's there's um, some balance going on with that person. And depending on where the elements are, like I'd love to see air up here. I'd love to see earth actually down here. I'd love to see the um, water element down here in the emotional space. So uh, depending on the reading, those elements, if they're not lined up in, in the right place, there's my bunnies, then uh, there might be something going on where somebody is out of, out of balance. Uh, I do think it's interesting also to pay attention to the number of majors. Like I've got two majors here in the bottom and I've got a minor and a court up here at the top. So I've got, I do have some grounding going on down here, but that fire is underneath the earth. It looks like a volcano. Something might be about to just uh, in this person. Um, the other thing I'm looking at is, like I said, thinking, speaking, feeling, and what they want most. If the sun is in what they want most, they are clear about what it is they're looking for, like super, super clear, <laughs> and they know what they want out of this relationship. And the relationship itself is goals. In their emotional state, they're getting pretty solid. They're balanced. I'm not, they're coming home here in the universe. Things are pretty clean. They've also got control over their emotions. We've got the energy of Saturn going on. So uh, they may be just at a point where they're starting to really be clear on how they feel about uh, this person and this relationship. And the way they're speaking, they're telling the other person day to day how much they love them, what they love about them. It could be something as simple as thank you for doing the dishes. I love it when you do the dishes. You know, it's basic, simple stuff. And in their headspace, they're still trying to kind of like figure out a few things about how they want the relationship to work, but they're willing to experiment and try out whatever might be coming their way. So what's cool about this is I'll take those four and then I'll lay another four down for the other person, look for alignment within each human being, and then look for congruency between those two different cards. And if there isn't any, then that's the challenge in the relationship that they might need to spend a little more time on. I can also pull the same cards for shadow work. 